breaking from the bounce house for some t-shirt crafts. We're gonna do some rock painting next. You like it, baby. Hunter, come on, man. Two. Come in. Three. Happy birthday to you. Cha cha cha. Happy birthday to you. Cha cha cha. Happy birthday, dear Lila. Happy birthday to you. Cha cha cha. Exercises. Yeah, they're gonna be so tired tonight. I want to here. Go, Ginger, go! Go, Ginger! Come on, you got it! I wanna have a race with the doggy here. Uh oh, they're behind the bush now, I think. Oh, there they are. They're fast when they're hyper. They're in hyper mode. Oh, they went through the tunnel. What do you think one of these costs? Uh, I don't know. It's like a Kona ice maker. Can we make this, Daddy? Yeah. And eat it? Is that from Mickey? Yeah. Yes, this is from Mickey. You spin this, and then it shaves the ice, and then it goes into the cup. And then there are these things, and then you have to... Push these down. I remember and... you were asking if you could have one. <laughs> nice. We'll have that later. Did you wrap that too, Lucas? Yeah. Very Daddy nice job. Open yours next. Okay. But super heavy. Mine? Yeah. What is this, Dad? You'll see why in a second. Did sec. you add extra wrapping paper? We have no it every single now. Wow, that's a lot of books. Yeah, Plenty of nighttime, bedtime reading material, all right? Yeah. What's the last one? You're welcome, baby. All right, now that our projects are covered, did you guys enjoy your last bath together ever? Yeah. They're sharing a bath because Lila turned 10 today, so we got to stop it. Got it? Uh-huh. <laughs> all right. So tomorrow. Is that your first time washing your face? Uh -huh. Like at the sink? Nice, baby. Okay, Lila, here. How, how was it? <laughs> hey YouTube family, welcome back to the channel. I appreciate you guys clicking on another one of my videos. If you like what you see, please click the like button. If you want to see more, please subscribe. And if you think the video could help anyone else, please share it. This video is about a week out from my max out session. So we're catching up on footage um, and you guys saw the max. If you have not seen the max video, I will link it above for your easy reference to it.
and then this morning I woke up and I was like, I'm pretty good. And then 275 felt super light. Uh, and then, you know, I missed some. Yep, yep, yep. That real next Monday will feel like. Correct. You are right about that, sir. So those who have been following for a while know that I always advocate listening to your body. You know, every day is different. A lot of different factors in mental and physical strength. And each time you're at the gym, you start to feel, um, you know, if the weights are heavy or not during your warm ups and during your lighter working sessions uh, as you work towards the heavy weights. Well, as you heard Michael talk about, you know, we were talking about why did he max out? Um, we had a plan for the following Monday. We we're about a week out, but he went ahead and did it anyway. And I do not blame him at all. In fact, I would definitely advocate for doing exactly what he did. If you're feeling really strong, um, if you had your your food, your diet, your pre-workout, whatever it is you take and the stars align, why wait for the following week if it's not a competition so in this session i had my food i had my rest i had my diet but i wasn't a hundred and ten percent like i was either the session before this or two sessions before this video that was recorded um and and i knew that but i had a date set and i wanted to keep it and you know there's a lot of other factors on why i i didn't work out my why i didn't max out myself on the day that i thought i should the day that my body was telling me to i'm rambling at this point but the point is when you are about at your peak just be ready for any day that you come in to be ready to max out that particular session. Being the Monday before my max out session that I had planned my plan for this session was to go in there and just kill my chest and kill my triceps and then um, take a light day on Wednesday and take a full like no gym day on Friday and just recover the rest of the time to max out the following Monday that's why I went with 380 instead of a double at 355 oh. Sorry about that. Nope. Uh, that light really is, yeah. Good. In your way? No, 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 no. Okay. I just wanted to make sure that you didn't think I was. Oh, no. Thank you. Yeah, of course. Yeah. When I first got here, like, I was watching a video behind. It was amazing. It was cool. And then I got in here and I saw that. I was like, there's no way. There's no way. And then I was like, I was like, I was like, I was like, I see a man doing face by face. As you guys saw, that 380 paused rep moved pretty slow. It was a little bit of a grinder for sure, but not nearly as much of a grinder as the 390 touch and go max was the following week. That one was much harder. Um, you know, like I mentioned before, the timing with the touch and go, I just don't have it because I've been pausing for years and years and I feel actually stronger as a paused pause repper than I do a touch and go repper just due to the familiarity with that movement itself. I definitely plan on doing some more touch and go reps to kind of bridge the gap between the pause and touch and go 
movement. As you guys saw, I try to get you some different angles of the bench. Uh, I've been requested for some different angles from the side to see the bar path uh, from the from the front, I guess just to change things up from the back angle that I typically use. But it created a lot of confusion and <laughs> basically me apologizing for the camera being where it was at because it was getting in people's way when they wanted to use the machine and you know that makes me feel bad i don't want to impose on other people um so with that said if if you see a lot of the normal angle that i typically use from the back uh hopefully you remember this video and the reasons that i changed it back so I did some dumbbell presses after the flat bench and then I go on to do my normal uh, overhead tricep uh, push down that I do and some close grip benching as well. And I feel a lot more comfortable with the um, like laying down with the dumbbell the dumbbells than I did previously. So thank you guys for all the help, uh, all the cues that <clears throat> you provided in the comment section really helped me. What I do is I take screenshots of what you say and, that, and then when I'm at the gym, I try to incorporate some of that feedback that's provided and it's helped tremendously. I feel a lot more comfortable and confident in the move. So um, that, that ends up making everything a lot smoother. So very cool and thanks a lot for that. I forgot to mention the interaction with Alex, who's the new personal trainer at LA Fitness, and how random that was that he saw my videos, like literally right before walking into his interview at LA Fitness. That was so random. And then him seeing me there on that day as well, uh, just, just crazy small world and um, how YouTube connects like so many different people from so many different places with so many miles in between them. It's just crazy. Um, and then a quick update on myself. I'm actually on day 16 right now. I've had a wrist injury. I, I never get these, but I got a wrist injury from doing some close grip bench and I'm healing it. I'm on the mend, I would say another week tops, but feels pretty bad um, emotionally, mentally uh, discouraging. You know, physically it doesn't hurt at all. It's just, a, I can tell it's tender. And um, when I bend my wrist back on how I hold the bar, it's it, it wouldn't be safe. It would be a dangerous situation and an unnecessary risk that I take on if I go and try to bench now. So I'm just I'm just completely letting it heal is what I'm doing. Uh, but this does remind me of the COVID closures that we had, you know, last year where we just you know, we were locked out of the gyms for a long time. Um, but this is small injury. I should be back in less than a week. I know there are other people out there who are actually still closed down due to COVID. So um, I feel for you guys. I, I hope that your areas open up soon and safely and that you can get back to doing what you love uh, here pretty soon. That is it for the voiceover section uh, on the fitness voiceovers, guys and gals thank you so much for watching the videos if you haven't already please click the like button i would really appreciate it and uh looking forward to making another video for you all on sunday
a big one you want to play? Yeah. All right. They said they caught it in the first 30 seconds. This is Jason Long. <laughs> oh, oh, man, you kicker. know, having a five-pound penalty is going to suck for you guys. I yeah, hate I think it, it's got to be a nine. Did you guys get that point off the bed? No, no, it's blind casting. Two pounds of fish with a five-pound penalty? Eight, eight. What do you reckon it weighs? I hope it's eight. Know, Huge. Seven, seven, Come on, seven, Trophy seven, Club. Eight, eight. Eight, three, eight. Yes. Eight, three, eight. No, we'll, we'll do it with our little scale. Called it 17. Oh, don't 17. hurry, Patrick. Hurry up, dude. You, you gotta wait. Yeah, you, you gotta, gotta wait a second. I'm not shuttling fish. Yeah, hey. you are. <laughs> Shut your mouth. Go hey, are we Let's taking a, are you taking a photo of it? Uh, yeah, we're not need a picture. Get over here and weigh in. Alright, you wanna take a quick picture? Yeah, get a photo of some of these. Wait a minute. Alright, ready? Wait a minute, hold on. You got one more. This is the only way I'm gonna get in the picture. Put it in its mouth. I was gonna hold it over there. Good lord, what is that? What was the big fish? Eight, three. Eight, three, eight. Well, we're sitting pretty. We have 17 something pounds for five fish. And I was a shuttle boat today just because I have the largest live well. Um, but the live well is overflowing. So we're gonna go dump the fish back in the lake. At literally every fish or two that we put in, we're getting like three or four that jump out. Every time we open the lid, it's that full. So um, there's probably 40, 40, 50 fish in there right now. I'll show you guys what it looks like when we dump them out. It should, should look pretty cool. All right, guys. So it was such a long walk all the way back to the boat ramp that we're likely going to have a whole bunch of fish die. So we're going to net them all out um, for all the teams. Yeah, because it would have been such a long walk back. You know, we're just thinking that we'll reduce the number of deaths if we do it this way. We do see one floater. They're helping you out by jumping in. That one's gonna wake up. Yeah, he's waking up. Are we looking so far? Are we still in first? Yeah. That, yeah. that makes it all worth it then. Absolutely. Alright. We got more fish? Can you make another run? Yes, I can. Outstanding. Yep. Yeah, let me get mine out of here. Okay. Okay. Thanks, guys. Yep. Yeah, thank you. Let me see that nice seven pounder. It's yeah, in there? Yeah, he's yeah. in there. Yeah. Was it long? No, it was fat. He's fat. Yeah, his was real short, too. I didn't realize there was a seven in there, Jesus. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. That one might have been longer than the eight pounder. Right. Nice. Fantastic. Thanks, nice. guys. Good job. Yeah. Is that it? Is that everything? Yeah. Should we? Should we what? Should we run back or just yeah. wait? Yeah. That's it, right, Dave? You can take the fish There's out. About ten in there right now. Ten. So they should be okay. You think they'll be all right? For a few minutes. Yeah. We're gonna have to, you, have to give you guys some money. Yeah, we don't want to be left in the dark here. <laughs> <laughs> we'll hold it till next week. <laughs> That's right. Hey guys, let's get around here. We lost a lot of people. That's the important part. That's a good payday for uh How many boats do we have? Alright gentlemen, we got 18. 18 boats today. Good turnout. We're expecting 22, but I guess the cold weather kept a few of them out that confirmed to say they're gonna be here. Alright gentlemen, alright. So, third place with 10.20 pounds. Scoring a check of seventy-two dollars. Force and force. Nice. Force and force. Nice. Don't worry, nice. guys. Good job, guys. Here, Long, get a photo. Hey, yep. Where'd you catch them all, guys? Um. Don't right. Caught them on one, two, three. Got it. Caught them on uh, top water, big easy. Um, Whitetail on top water, big easy. Wacky rig. Wacky rig. Really? No lizard. 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 <laughs> That's about it. Pretty much it. All right. Jig. All right. Uh, second place. <laughs> These guys have been second and third already. With 14.28 pounds, they had a big fish of 7.02. We got Jared and Justin. Woo! All right, guys. Right. 216 bucks. Right. Good job, gentlemen. What'd you catch them on, guys? 
Uh, dead sick in a buzz bait. And, uh... <laughs> <laughs> what? All right, yeah. and unfortunately, the first team forfeit because they left early. Ah. Dang, so we're going to keep the money here. But Put no, mine with towards the... hearing aids next month. Yeah, they do need to wait until they call the numbers next time. Get you a bowl. Yeah, but in their defense, they did call me, ask if I wanted them to come back, and I'm like, just go. Yeah. It ain't that big a deal, so. I thought he was taking Jace to the hospital or something. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I yelled one thing, he's like, go on. I'm like, oh. <laughs> All right, hopefully we won't have that problem over yeah, past off because we're going to be a little bit closer. It was again. hard to hear. We all had a motor. Well, that was. Everybody had their motors on. And, uh, all right, but with 17.28, they also got big fish of 8.38. Jason Long. Thank you. Thank gentlemen, you. gentlemen, there you go. $180 for big bass and 432 for first place. All right. I'll take I'll hold the first. Looks like your wives are going shopping tonight. Mm. They, don't <laughs> know they already spent it. We suck, man. All right, what did you get them on? What would you get the big fish hey. on? Uh, mag, speed worm offshore. Texas rig. He was chunking to the docks. I was chunking the other way. Really? Yeah, that was just, really just it. Swimming, just swimming. Nope. All right, gentlemen. Sean, if you would. Yep. All right, guys. Thanks for coming. God, we're just so grateful for this uh, awesome day that you've given us. God, we're thankful for uh, lots of fish being caught and uh, thankful for um, keeping us safe out there and just the time that we got to, to spend uh, enjoying enjoying your creation and um, just fishing alongside our partners. And uh, God, we just ask that you would bring us home safely now. God, that you would bring us uh, back safely uh, next month. And um, God, just please um, help us just to focus on you and on Jesus and what he did for us the cross by dying for our sins so that we have eternal life um, in heaven one day. In Christ's name. Amen. 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 Sure. All right, gentlemen. I'll be safe going back. Sure.